sir. It's a whole nother day, man. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned and y'all keep, you know what I'm saying, locking in with your boy for this build. We are doing a custom hydraulic rack on the uh, Regal. Hey, y'all stay tuned, man. Let's get it. Yes, sir. We are a master of our abilities. see that ear over here I had to cut that out also I had to cut this whole piece out and I got to grind this all the way down over here that part right there needed new bushing mounts on both sides they were completely rotted out so we uh, did that over here we're going to put new body mounts and everything same as the other side and uh, I just gotta grind all this stuff down, man. And let's get to it. Y'all see that, man? Yes, sir. Yep. Gotta change grinding wheels, cause that's the cutting wheel I got on there right now that I was using to cut some of that. I had to cut and also torch some stuff off, guys. It's a long process to do this type of work right here. And uh, right now, you kind of just gotta grind everything down. To, to make it look a little smoother. And also everything I gotta grind this down over here. Also, I gotta grind down these ears over here and the same one over there off the other side so we can build the new rack. And I was told today that I'm going to be building and welding the rack. So y'all see it? Yes, sir. I see the grind down process. I'm saying you gotta grind it down, clean it up real good. Right down, clean it up real good. I start going to that over there, clean that up. And I also clean that up over there. Y'all see, this is a lot of work. It takes a lot of time and patience to do this, man. Make sure y'all stay tuned, like, share, subscribe, man. Check in, man, because y'all also stay tuned for this build right here. So this build is going to be a new rack, which will be battery rack, and also the rack up front for the rear for the uh, strokes. This plate that goes in between there and the strokes going between there. If you guys go back to a couple of videos back, you will see this is a legal video. We're doing the hydraulics on here. Basically everything. Finishing my day up. 
shop. I'm gonna spin this camera around, man. All day process with this, man. Y'all check it out. Whole bunch of cutting. Make sure everything is right. Then I end up doing this side over here because we do need to fix that side too. But y'all see it, man. So hopefully tomorrow we can get in here and put the rack in there and weld everything correctly and get everything in there right. But y'all see it, man. Stay tuned for the build. Let's get it. We got another day at the shop. Like I got a line on my head and already my hands is dirty. Yes, sir. One in the booth right now getting laid down on y'all. Yes, sir. You see the upgrade on the Rigo so far. One Toyota custom style. The regulator is going to be bolted up down here. So we're gonna have three batteries and three over here. Y'all see it though. One thing next gotta be done up there is that part. And also the braces gotta get done. There's gonna be a plate over there. So, new um, the sway bar, rear end sway bar uh, arms, the rear trailing arms been modified and fabricated and made. Y'all see that? So all y'all got y'all rear ends notched and cut. You need to get some mounts fabricated and made. This is definitely the place to come. Y'all see it with the adjustable uh, arms, control uh, uh, rear sway arms. I forgot what you call them. But y'all see it, man. So y'all see it's coming along. Uh, everything getting custom made. See the rack and everything. Y'all drop something in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Let y'all see this is the Regal. You know what I'm saying? This was happening to the Regal. For those of all who just tuning in now, so this is the battery rack. Just get done custom. Those are the trailing arms for the rear end. And uh, everything is done custom here at Montoya's Customs. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, book your appointment. Let's get it. No, I think I think that was a.